नमस्कार श्री श्री राम कृष्ण कथामृत कथामृत तप्त जीवन कविड़ कलमशापहम श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदादत भुवि गृणंती भूरीदा जना श्री श्री राम कृष्ण कथामृत प्रथम भाग षष्ठ खंड द्वितीय पुरीछेद Uh, reading from the second chapter of the sixth section of the first volume of the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna in Bengali, and uh, this is happening on the twenty-second July, eighteen eighty-three, when the devotees have come, devotees and disciples, they have come to uh, meet Sri Ramakrishna, and they are most uh, keenly they are listening to his nectarine words. His teachings, and uh, in the previous reading we have seen that Sri Ramakrishna is uh, uh, talking about uh, what he told uh, Keshav Chandra Sen when one devotee asked him that uh, uh, having uh, uh, realized the Brahman, Brahmogan hole ki dol tol thake, can once this organization be retained, once one gets the uh, Uh, Brahmatnan, the uh, self-realization, the realization of the Brahman, the ultimate uh, knowledge, the Atmatnan, and then Sri Ramakrishna had uh, uh, answered that question, saying that similar thing had uh, happened, been discussed once with Keshav. Uh, uh, I told Keshav that uh, uh, about uh, this particular aspect of. Brahmatnyan, and then uh, Keshav wanted to know more, and then Sri Ramakrishna told that if I tell you anything further about the Brahmatnyan, if I give you that knowledge, then you won't be able to retain this organization that you have created, the Brahmo Samaj. And to that, Keshav reply was, "Fine, that is the case. We are thak." I don't want to listen any further about the Brahman. Let me run this organization nicely. Then Sri Ramakrishna had told him. Sri Ramakrishna had told Keshav Chandra Sen that you run the organization by getting rid of the unripe ego, archa ami, archa ami. Get rid. I am the doer. I am karta. I am. This is my organization. You know this I attitude. Remove and make that attitude as Akka Ami, ripe ego, the ripe kindness. Then your organization will run very smoothly. Then you will be able to retain that organization for a much more longer time. Avoid it. You don't. You don't take the ownership of that particular organization. Who is the owner? Ultimate Lord is the owner of everything in this particular universe, in this creation. Who are you? Remove that unripe ego. Ami Karta, hmm, I am the doer. Amar Stri Putro, my wife, my sons. Ami Guru, I am the preacher. I am the teacher. I am the uh, guru. All this uh, egotism, all this pride, you just get rid of. All such kindness, which is acha, which is andrai. Iti kya kore baka ami hoy thako. Remove this andrai pai and retain. Get convert this andrai pai into a ripe pai. What is the ripe pai? That also Sri Ram Krishna had told uh, at the end of uh, you know that that particular teaching. चाइल्ड आमी ओ करता आई एम नॉट द डूअर इनी करता ही इज द डूअर आई एम जस्ट मियर इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट काइंड ऑफ एटीट्यूड 
that kind of understanding if one starts putting it into practice that is called as ripe ego that is called as the maka amu now shri ram krishna tells ishporer adesh pe pe dharma prachar kora uchit only after getting the command from the god or god only after getting the god's order now you do it now you preach only then it is proper only then it is good to preach your teachings to preach uh, the religion to preach the philosophy only then not not before uh, receiving the command from the god why this happens now today's reading is going to be on this topic ek jon bhakto now one devotee again raised her akka ami dol korte pare now uh, this devotee has a doubt she ram krishna has uh, shri ram krishna has said that you get rid of that uh, unripe ego and convert it into the ripe ego the understanding with the attitude that i am the servant i am the child i am a devotee i am not the doer i am just an instrument he is the doer with that attitude now this devotee ek jon bhakta he has got a doubt that paka ami ki dol korte pare can this ripe i can this ripe ego create an organization Sri Ram Krishna is answering this particular doubt. He is addressing that doubt. Sri Ram Krishna. Keshav Chen ke bollum. Ami dol poti, dol kore chhi. Ami lok shikha dichi. Ei ami acha ami. When this devotee has uh, raised a doubt about. Uh, creation of an organization by a person who has right eye right ego is it possible to create such organization and then shri ram krishna is addressing that i told keshav ami dolpoti dol korechi i am the leader i have created this organization i am the leader of this organization i have created this organization ami lokshi the chi i am giving this uh, preaching i am propagating this religion i am uh, you, you know uh, uh, giving instructions to mankind pertaining to this sect that i have created this organization that i have created i am doing the ami acha ami I have that Sri Ramakrishna thing. I told Kesha this I, this notion that I am doing it. This is my organization. I am preaching the principles in this particular organization. That is unripe ego. Motha prachar bro kothin. Sri Ramakrishna says that it is extremely difficult to propagate religion. to such organizations with this kind of unripe ego unripe i ishborer agya botirikte hoina shri ramakrishna says unless and until one has command from the god unless one has permission from the god it is just not possible ishborer agya botirike hoina ar आदेश जय वन मस्ट रिसीव हिज कमांड देन यू टीच देन व्हाट एवर यू अटर दैट इज नॉट ओनली एक्सेप्टेड दैट गेट्स द फॉलोइंग बिकॉज़ देन हैविंग गॉट द कमांड फ्रॉम द लॉर्ड वन कैन नॉट अटर वन कैन नॉट टीच एनीथिंग नॉनसेंस वन कैन नॉट प्रीच अ ट्रेड वन कैन नॉट टीच विनिर डिटेटेड for divisive uh, practices one will teach only what, what is what is the way to reach the god shukdev <coughs> bhagavat katha bolte adesh pechilen 
now Sri Ramakrishna. Earlier she, he, he had given example of Shukadev. Somebody had asked whether he had got uh, Brahmadhyana and then uh, Ramakrishna had said that uh, some, some people say that he had not actually got the Brahmadhyana. He had just gone and touched the scene. He had got the vision of the ocean of Brahmadhyana and just having had that vision that was sufficient for Shukadev to gain that kind of knowledge. That is what Sri Ramakrishna told. Some people say like that. But some people feel that yes, he was a Brahmatnyani and for the sake of teaching, for the sake of teaching, he had retained that ripe ego. At Maka Ami he had retained and because of that he could uh, narrate he, 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 he could tell the story of Srimad Bhagavata out of Parikshit. And Sri Ramakrishna once again, uh, uh, you know, brings that example here. Shukde Bhagavat Katha Bolte Adesh Pichle. He had got the command from God that yes, tell the story of Srimad Bhagavatam, that holy Puran, Bhagavat Puran. Talk about it in Parikshit. He had got that command and that's why. He told that story to uh, Parikshit. And since he had got command from the Lord himself, even today, that story, that Dantha, that Prana of Srimad Bhagavat, it is still existing. People still read it. People still have great reverence for it. Not, not without receiving command from the head. Had he not received command from the God, he might not have even uh, told that uh, Bhagavad Katha to Parikshit. So, Sri Ramakrishna says, Ishpurir Ar Adesh. Hmm? Ishpurir Adesh is a must. Then you tell, then you preach. Jodi Ishpurir Sakkar Kure Kiv Adesh Pai, Che Jodi Prochar Kure Lokshi. Yeah, that is, if he realizes, he has a God realization. He, he sees God face to face. He gets the God vision. He gets the vision of the Lord. He gets the vision of the Mother. He understands what is the ultimate reality. Having got his vision, if he gets some command, if he gets some order, if he gets instruction from the mother herself, that person, if he preaches, that person, if he starts giving instructions to the mankind, then nothing is wrong. He has got the command. He has got a perfect order from ultimate. Go and do that. Having got the God realization, having got the God vision, having got the vision of the mother, his ego is no more ripe, unripe ego. He has got it converted to the ripe ego. Now he is the attitude. Now the attitude is not, I am the doer. I am the head of the organization. I am preaching. That is not the attitude. No, the attitude is, I am mother's child. I am the servant of the master. I am not a doer. He is the doer. I am just an instrument. That is the Maka Ami. That is the ripe ego. And Sri Ramakrishna further elaborates. Sri Ramakrishna. Ishod ke bolchilam. Kancha Ami Thakro. Ashami, Bhaktirami, Ete Kono Doshnoi. Application that to get rid of this unripe ego, the ego of a child, ego of a devotee, Dashami, hmm? the ego of a servant, Bhaktirami, the ego of a devotee, Balukami, the ego of the child, child of the mother. There is nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong in having that attitude. 
তুমি দোল দোল করেছো শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণ তোমার দোল থেকে লোক ভেঙ্গে ভেঙ্গে যাচ্ছে ইউ আর রেফারিং টু মাই অর্গানাইজেশন ইউ আর রেফারিং টু ইউর অর্গানাইজেশন ব্রাহ্ম সমাজ না হোয়াট ইজ হ্যাপেনিং দেয়ার পিপল আর কামিং এন্ড গোয়িং people are joining the organization they are living the organization many people are living it log bhinge bhinge jaache they are not sticking to your principles they are not sticking to your organization they are not sticking to what you are teaching and preaching and what you are instructing they are living the organization so bolle ashoy teen bochhor e dole theke abar o dalit gelo then shri ramprasadan keshav when he told keshav about this people are leaving your organization then shri ramkrishna says keshav said that sir during last 3 years people from my group have left and joined other groups from brahma samaj came out that sadharan brahma samaj and maybe some other groups also So Keshav also admitted that yes, people are leaving his group. What to do? Jabar Shomai, Abar Gala Gali Diye Gelo. And Keshav said that it is not only they just left. Creating so much rakas. <laughs> saying so many unkindly words. Gala Gali Diye Gelo. a left organization not happily or not just uh, you know just like that they created ruckus they spoke so many unkind words there was such a big fight and then they left ami bollom and then shri ram krishna says i told him me lokkhon dekho na keno jake take chela korle ki hoy says you don't uh, see their nature what is their attitude you don't see their qualities lokkhon dekh no dekho na keno why don't you judge them why don't you test them why don't you try to see what is their nature what is their attitude what is their quality jake take chela korle ki hoy says what will happen everyone you just start making your disciple what will happen to such an organization hmm? why people don't see their why, why you don't see their nature that you start making disciples indiscriminately have you got the order from god have you got the command from god then you will be able to see what is in the core of those people then you will, you will be you will be able to see if these people are worthy enough to be part of your organization to part of your disciples <coughs> sorry you just keep on indiscriminately accepting each and every one who comes to you that is the problem first get the command from the god first get that paka ami catch your disciples just judge the people who are coming to you seeking your uh, you to be their guru test them and then things will start happening that was uh, sri ram krishna's teaching uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, teaching only after getting the command from god and only then the organization can be reached. otherwise it is matter of few years at the most a few decades how many organizations have remained intact over a period of hundreds of years so that is what uh, shri krishna uh, shri ram krishna's teaching uh, 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 to that devotee who had asked the question that can the organization be retained after achieving the paka ami after getting the right ego can one retain the organization and then shri ram krishna says yes because 
<laughs> then you won't, uh, you know, uh, take taken uh, people in your organization indiscriminately like what he had told Keshav. Finally, in last three years, even Keshav admitted, people are leaving me uh, high and dry. And also, not happily they are leaving. They are leaving after creating so much of unhappy situation. After creating so much of uh, sp speaking so much uh, unkindly words, fighting and all that. Therefore, Sri Ramakrishna said, be in the Baka army. Convert that unripe ego to the ripe ego. Convert your attitude from being, I am the doer, to I am the child, I am the servant. He is the doer, I am an instrument. And things will go. So that is wonderful teaching that uh, uh, Sri Ramakrishna gave uh, while addressing the query of a devotee in terms of his uh, teaching to uh, Sri Kesha Pradasi. So that is our reading from Sri Sri Ramakrishna Kathamrutu for the day. Om Namah Sri Bhagavate Ramakrishna Sri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Kuru Jai Swami